Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim. Today we are going to be delivering the Dragonstone to Faringar Secret Fire. You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. What's that they're this, saying? This is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farangar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Mm, I just wanted to listen in before heading in. See what they were talking about. You have a visitor. Hmm? Hello. Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Yes. Back from I'm... League Falls Barrow. I am. You didn't die, it seems. <laughs> yeah, barely. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. Absolutely. Uh, it was not easy, though. There was many Draugr filling that ruin. I came an inch away from my life many times. I have the dragon stone. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Yeah, Just send I did. me a copy when you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. A dragon? You should come too. Me? A dragon. Are you sure? Where was it seen? What All was right. it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. All right, let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster in the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I'm willing I to want help. You to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Oh my god. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. Yeah, I suppose. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of court. Alright, let's go. Erelith, just one second. I'm going to try putting on this gear. I think it might help us. Just need some privacy. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see. Would this gear be helpful? Well, let's try it on. 
I am a little bit more exposed. However, it is enchanted. I feel my fortifications much stronger now. All right, Irolith, I'm coming. I have to go. We have to hurry. There might be a dragon. I can't believe I'm about to fight a dragon. I don't know if I can even be successful. Has anyone ever fought and killed a dragon? Not that I know of. But I'll do my best. Irolith, I'm coming. Is the dragon out there? I don't see it. God. I don't see anything. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Card, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No. 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 We'll help you. More than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours. If you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. We can do this. Come on, guys. Let's move out. All right. Look alert, men. Make sure your leather straps are tightened. I don't see the dragon yet. sure the dragon is hiding in the fog in the mountains. Keep an eye out, men. Either that, or it's already landed. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. God, look. The Western Watchtower has been destroyed. It's been here for sure. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, Alright, equip our weapons. I feel severely under-equipped for this. I don't have the training. But I can't coward out now. I have to summon the courage. Oh god. What are we getting into? 
Hello, is there anyone in the watchtower? Is anyone there? No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky it... and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. They did? What happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Oh god, there it is! Alright, get your bow out. Oh god, it's coming this way. I've never seen such a majestic creature. Ready to kill us. Oh god. Here, let's try to get to the top of the tower. Might have a better vantage point. Alright, where are you? Oh god! Ugh. I'm letting the pressure get to me! Oh, come on, pull yourself together. Got him, I think. Oh god, get cover! Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Ugh, if it wasn't for this armor, it's enchanted. It's the only thing helping me. Where's the dragon? Oh, there it is. Ugh. Die, you damn dragon! <sighs> Alright, I have to get down there. I have to help them. I'm coming! Alright. Oh, God, he jumped again. Get on his tail. Ugh. Ugh, die. Ugh. 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 Ugh, damn it. Ugh. 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 Ah! Die, you damn dragon! No. What the hell just came over me? What the hell? What just happened? I feel like I've absorbed its power. Oh, it's eaten a poor guard. Oh my god. Did everyone just see what just happened? I can't believe it. I feel like I've gained some sort of power from it. Here? Boom! Ah. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. I'm what? D Dragonborn, what are you talking about? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim. The Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. It certainly felt like something happened. 
You could be right, I don't know, but something weird definitely happened. Do dragons always disintegrate? Why did I absorb some kind of power from it? I don't know. Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be dragonborn. Dragon? Really? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septon. <laughs> I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal the power. You must be one. Wow. You say Do you think so? Being awfully quiet. Come on here then. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now you know you can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. Yeah. Dragonborn, then. Maybe. I'll try it again. Boof! Wow. Yeah. I've never been able to do that before. My voice has never had so much force to it. Uh, I'll get back to White Run and report this. Hope you're all okay. My God. What's happening to me? Why can I all of a sudden have force with my words? Is this a dream? Is this even real? I've heard of other people to be able to use the shouts before. Ulfric Stormcloak, for example. I know that he's used the shouts before. But this is the first that I've ever known that I could do this. I mean, <laughs> I've coughed a few hard times in my life, but never anything like this. Huh. What the... What the hell was that? Am I the only one that heard that? Oh god, what a day. Excuse me. <laughs> I must look like a crazy person. It sounded like they said Dovakin. What does that even mean? Well, anyway, if I have this ability to shout, I need to learn to master it. I need to learn to control it. And maybe it'll help me in combat. It's a lot to think about. You're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We will pay good money for information. Oh, really? I just happened to overhear this conversation. I hope uh, you don't think we have good hospitality here in Whiterun. Most of us are kind. But um, anyway, who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. 
she is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiteron, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. I see. Redguard. I don't think I've met too many red guards here in Whiterun. Um, why are you looking for this person exactly? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. All right, fair enough. Good day, sir. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Rorikstead. Understood. suppose I'll be on the lookout for any red guard woman that I might see. I haven't seen I anyone. With my mother. Oh. Fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. Sure. <laughs> you snuck up on me. <laughs> kind of surprised me. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? Uh... Actually, uh, no, I didn't. But anyway, have a good day, child. <laughs> strange children coming up to strangers. You know, you shouldn't walk up to strangers. That's not a good idea. Who knows? Maybe it's safe in White Run. Seems like mostly good folk here. going. He never stops. You'd think his voice would wear out. Shouting all day. Excuse me. Alright. I need to get in there. I can't believe what just happened. I'm still shaken by it. And what was that voice? that I heard from the sky. So much mystery. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. Oh, has he? Hello, Jarl. The summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Oh, yeah, it absolutely was there, and it was one of the most frightening things I've ever been through. The watchtower was destroyed, but we did kill the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Well, yeah, there is more to it. Something very strange happened. After the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The... sorry, the Greybeards? Who are they? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Ah, uh, excuse me, Erlith. Sorry, Jarl. Uh, what do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? I did. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. <laughs> Believe me, I don't either. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Honestly... Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. 
If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right is Jarl. Thank you, I sir. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl. Lydia? And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Oh, goodness. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back wow. Business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Thank you so much, Jarl. I will not squander this opportunity you have given me. And I'll treat this axe very well. Thank you, Jarl Balgruf. What the hell is going on? So much has happened in a single day. And this axe. It's the perfect gift. It's exactly the kind of weapon that I could use effectively. Wow. The axe of Whiterun. Well, this old Nord piece of junk is no longer good anymore. Oh, wow. Take a look at it. Wow, fine craftsmanship. Hello. Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Oh, thank you, Lydia. Um, by the way, <laughs> I, this is kind of embarrassing, but uh, he made me a thane. I mean, I honestly don't even know what that means. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Oh, I see. I understand. And you're my house, Carl, uh, from what I've heard. What exactly does that mean? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Oh, so a personal bodyguard. Wow. Well, I'll treat you with great respect, and I appreciate the sacrifice you are making to assist me in my travels. I could use your help. Follow me, please, Lydia. I would love to have you join me. Lead the way. All right. Let's go, then. Well, it's an amazing day. I can't believe what has happened to me. In one day, I've killed a dragon, become dragonborn, and become the thane of a city that I've barely under barely visiting, and just now, you know, getting the lay of. Wow, I feel like this is a lot of responsibility for one person. But it's getting late. Lydia, I know it's only the first night, but uh, I'm going to go to the inn and sleep in the inn. I'll pay for you to have a room as well. Let's go. Do I have any coin? Yes, I have plenty of coin. 
But this is a local favorite and one of the first songs I've ever Warm beds. <laughs> Sounds great after a long day like today. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling me into Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Well, I'm very hungry. Is there anything that you have for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. All well, food for the hungry. I definitely need some some good wine tonight. Let's have some baked potatoes, some cooked beef, and uh, let's have a little bit of mead. There we are. Hunting brew mead. It's expensive, but after a day like today, we definitely need to celebrate. Two bottles. Also, um, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Oh, yes. Uh, see you when you're done. You do. He wasn't talking to me. It's high time that you lie down and bleed. Don't talk about my father so like that, John. And slashing and steel you. As the brave last Let me know if there's anything else you need. Know. Absolutely. Thank you for showing me to my room. Well, Lydia. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Um, I think we'll be uh sleeping together tonight, but don't worry. Uh, I've just met you, and I understand that you're only doing your duty, so no need to worry about any funny business. <laughs> anyway, come on. Let's have some ale and have some food. It's been a long day. All right. Well, Lydia, it's been a long day. Here, let's have some have some beef. Oh, doesn't look too bad. Not seasoned. Lightly seasoned. Let's try it out. Not bad. Pretty good. Some baked potatoes. A little bit of meat. Oh, delicious. Hope you enjoyed your meal as well. By the way... Thief, pickpocketing. Well, there is no books here that I think I want to read right now. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and You want a drink? Oh no, uh, not at all, actually. By the way, it's very dark, but I noticed that you're red guard. Did you know that some Alakir warriors are looking for a Red Guard woman? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. Are you sure? Okay, Lydia, just stay there for a second. This isn't some kind of trick. So, are you working with them? Hey! You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell are me. Are you going to do anything about this? She's threatening me with a knife. I guess Nords mind their own business. Look, relax. I'm not going to hurt you. Then I need your help. And there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. <sighs> Maybe. What do you want? I don't know anything about this situation. I feel like I'm being dragged into it. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. 
The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. So they're with the Aldmeri Dominion, huh? Well, I'm not too fond of the Aldmeri Dominion. How am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. I understood. Is there any suggestions as to how I should find them? They could be anywhere. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Well, look, I don't know if I could even trust you, to be honest. You still haven't even put your knife away. Why don't you put that away, for starters? Why are the Alakir after you? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Hmm, speaking out against the Aldmeri Dominion. Well, it sounds like we have the same enemy, then. I'm part of the Stormcloak Rebellion. Why haven't you gone to the guards for help? You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless. Cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Oh, well, I think you've chosen a good option. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. Well, if those Alakir are with the Aldmeri Dominion, then I'm on your side. Because the Aldmeri Dominion are the same ones that are trying to take over Skyrim. So I'm not on their side. I'm gonna get some rest. I've had a very long day. But thank you for letting me know about this. Oh. Well, seems like the barmaid is actually uh, a noble from Daggerfall. Was it Daggerfall? All right, Lydia. I suppose we can go to bed. Few uh, for my supper is all I ask. Good morning, Lydia. You heading out? As yeah. You command, my thane. I hope you slept well. I certainly did. The morning sunshine, shafts coming through the windows. It's beautiful. Good morning, Mikhail. Good morning. You know, I could use a little bit of food, actually. I enjoy this work well. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Yeah, I need some breakfast. And probably some food for the run as well. I'll take some bread. A few apples. Some chicken breast. Thank you. Need anything else? Just let me know. Absolutely. All right, let's go. Oh, well, it's a beautiful day in Skyrim. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Here, let's have a few of those apples and a little bit of bread. Ah, it's a good breakfast. All right, I suppose uh, the next order of business would be to go to the throat of the world, or so it's said. Apparently I could be dragonborn. It's a crazy thing to think, but I'll only find out if, if I check. Should I make some packs?
Ah uh, yes, the smelter. I can finally make some of those iron ingots I've been wanting to make. Okay, Lydia, let's go. Hello, Lydia. We have to uh, make our way to the throat of the world. And if I open up my map here, I basically need to make my way to Iverstead. So, let's take the path to Iverstead. And the sky is clear, no clouds. I suppose I can put on my other armor. It's a little cold, a little too cold. There we go. This armor just suits me a little bit better, a little warmer. Well, Lydia, what do you think? I may actually be dragonborn. Could you believe it? <laughs> what if the Nord prophecies are true? But me? I'm nobody special. I've been chopping wood all my life. I don't know. I don't know, Lydia. Okay, which way do I go? According to the map, it's probably best to go this way. And then around. Alright. Ah! The signpost makes it clear. Well, you see that, Lydia? Iverstead is this way. Well, let's make our way over this bridge. Wow. Look at that river. It's gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? Hmm, somebody uh, knocked over that pit. Oh god. Lydia! We've got a wolf. 
I'm sorry, Wolf, but I've taken down dragons. I don't think of you'll be quite enough. I can't believe I get to say that. I've actually defeated a dragon. <laughs> Not many people can say that, I'm sure. What's what's that going on in the distance? What the hell? I'm pretty sure I saw that person get stabbed. Get your gear ready. We don't know if this person is violent. Sir. Sir. Did you just kill this woman? Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. Yeah, well, I just saw you kill those people. What are you doing out here? The best tales are those of adventure. Who could truly write such a tale without first experiencing such? So, adventure? Your idea of adventure? Well... Ah, all right. Be on your way. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess if they were bandits... Ah, I see. You were just defending yourself. It appears that bandits came after you. Huh. Well, I'll take that ale. They won't be needing that. Well, stay safe out there. Be wary of any more bandits that come your way. Another wolf. Skyrim is littered with them. They never end. You know, I haven't used my shout. I'm gonna try my shout on this wolf, see how it goes. You see that, Lydia? My shout is actually effective. I'm still not good at using it, though. It's still a little weak. What is this? Look at this, Lydia. It's a bone altar. Where does it lead to? What is this? Hello? Oh god! What is that? It's a bone wolf. going on oh I see it's a necromancer what is he doing the ritual stone oh I see the ritual stone is a uh, a prayer place for those that specialize in me necromancy it's just a necromancer come on let's go We have no use for necromancy. Oh god, it's an entire gang of wolves chasing that fox. But I guess wolves gotta eat too. As long as they're not trying to eat me. Alright, come here, wolf. Trying to surround me. Ah, oh, good. 
Good job, Lydia. This time we were attacked by a gang of four wolves. I'm glad to know that we're a strong enough team that we can survive it. Folks, they were hung. They were put on the cross to die. And their bodies are used as signposts? Who did this? Why would you do such a thing? Must be bandits. Actually, Lydia, ready your weapons. I think I see bandits. They're probably the ones that put those skeletons up. Just to show their presence. Alright, come on. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Say 200 dollars? 200... Say 200 gold? What are you talking about? You're making this stuff up. How about I let you through and I don't kill you? How about you let me through and I don't kill you? You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. Right, fine. I don't expect to get any more trouble from you again. Come on, Lydia. Let's go. You know, it's nice to just walk down the road and try to get my mind off of all of the incredible things that have just happened and just relax and breathe the fresh air. getting close. Oh, look at this. It's a goat head. There's lots of goat heads. <laughs> There's a goat fire? What is going on? <sighs> Just drop down a bit. Alright, Lydia, be careful. Lydia, be careful walking across this. You could slip and get all wet. It's not very deep, so you don't have to worry about that. But at least you'll keep your feet dry. What in the hell is going on here? It's goat. Why are there so many goats here? Well, 
I don't understand that one. Oh, that would explain it. Lydia, do you think we would take on a giant? Clearly, this is the beast that did it. It looks like there could be some treasure over there. Well, let's try it. <laughs> Shoot Lydia before he gets over here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Maybe we shouldn't mess with him. Okay. Come on, Lydia. I think he's too strong. It's probably best we don't mess with him. Maybe one day, when I'm a bit stronger. At the moment, I don't think I can. Let's just make our way to Rorikstead. Or not Rorikstead, but uh, Iverstead. Oh look, an iron ore vein. Could definitely use that. Come on, Lydia, you're getting behind. I wonder who they are. Huh, so many paths. Well, we're still going the right way, but it is many miles away. Let's keep going, Lydia. a giant cage. That's an interesting way to display a signpost. By the way, does Iverstead on here?
Well, Lydia, let's take a break. We've been on the road for many hours now. We're getting tired. There appears to be a cave over there. God. It seems that every place we go is... <sighs> You're greeted with death right at the entrance. But maybe it's abandoned. Maybe we can go in there and just take a rest for a minute. Ah, it's a little dark. Come on, Lydia. Maybe we'll find a place to camp. Think I could do it? Wasn't our last day fair? Yeah, why? Take down that one with your bare hands, too? Troll's blood was he a tough one? Sure. But I've got the key to the saber cage. Look. What's that supposed to do? Get back on patrol. Key to the saber cage? Huh? Oh! Shit. Come on, Lydia. We've been seen. They found us. Ugh. All right, we got them. Let's take the cage key. Let's move them out the way. You know what? That fur armor he's wearing. Let's try it on. There. It's a little bit actually more cozy. It's softer. Well, Lydia, let's rest here for the night. We've had a long day of travel. Let's eat some food by the fire. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll continue on to Iverstead. Alrighty, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Um, Lydia and I have found a cave, and it's been a very long journey from White Run all the way to Iverstead, and so we've decided to take a rest here in this cave. It turns out there may be some bandits here, and who knows what's deeper in the cave. We may explore a little bit tonight, actually, this evening, just before bed, just to see what is further in the cave before we hit the bed. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, always like, subscribe, comment, all of that helps out so much. I really enjoy having you guys comment. I love reading all the comments, and I appreciate you guys watching. Anyway, Thank you for joining me in this adventure, and I will see you next time.